What's going on everyone? Hi, my name is Mitchell Coleman. I have your daily stoic 366 meditations on wisdom, perseverance, and the art of living. Today, April 14th, 2021, titled Becoming an Expert in What Matters. Believe me, it's better to produce the balance sheet of your own life than that of the grain market. Seneca on the brevity, brevity of life. The things that some people manage to be expert in, fantasy sports, celebrity trivia, derivatives, and commodity markets, 13th century hygiene habits of the clergy. We can get very good at what we're paid to do or adept at a hobby we wish we could be paid to do. Yet our own lives, habits, and tendencies might be a mystery to us. Seneca was writing this important reminder to his father-in-law who, as it happened, was for a time in charge of Rome's granary. But then his position was revoked for political purposes. Who really cares, Seneca was saying. Now you can focus that energy on your inner life. At the end of your time on this planet, what expertise is going to be more valuable? Your understanding of matters of living and dying or your knowledge of the 87 bears? Which will help your children more? Your insight into happiness and meaning or that you follow breaking political news every day for 30 years? Love this one. It's pretty much where I'm at right now, you know. I have a lot of things that I want to do, a lot of things I'm focusing on and want to get good at. And I, I know that really, I just want to continue to grow as a person and become a happier, better person and share that with everyone else because what knowledge is more important? What am I trying to teach my two young girls? And really, it's how to be happy, how to survive in this world without letting outside circumstances eat you up inside. And um, this is all of our emotions. And, and we feel we need to be the best at certain things. But in the long run, what does that really matter? It, it doesn't. And um, I think we could all focus on what is really important. Obviously, I love my hobbies, and I'm sure we all love our hobbies, but um, are we spending time to grow? Are we really focusing on what's important? What makes us happy? And is it only something that makes us happy? Is it something that we can use to make other people happy? Because that's the whole goal, is to try to help other people, and, and uh, that's what I wanna do, because I find myself feeling the clock ticking away all the time. And I have this anxiety that I get lately because I just want to continue to learn. And it's like, I have so much on my plate and I have so many things I want to do, plans and ideas. And I find myself in the very little time that I have being distracted by certain things. And it's very difficult and it can be very agitating and frustrating. Like at work, for example, I have a bunch of little breaks and as I'm working and I'm waiting for that teeny little break in between sets of paper coming off, we have like a good five, 10 minutes in between each set. So we got a lot of little breaks. So I always wanna get in there and start reading and learn and write down what I'm wanting to do and just constantly things that I can do in that dead time as they call it. And you'll get in there and there's one person in particular that just continues to talk to you and will not stop talking about very unimportant things and it's, it sounds mean but it's like kind of frustrating because I'm clearly reading and writing and this person just won't stop talking and it's very hard to focus and um, I need to find that that way of just explaining in a very polite way like I understand you like talking but I'm trying to learn here and, and in my mind without being mean in my mind I'm thinking you're wasting my time on this planet to learn because you want to talk about Nicolas Cage for 20 minutes. And it's like, I'm on a different level and he's on a different level and neither one of them's bad. And I'm not, not talking bad about the person. It's just, it can be very frustrating because I just want to continue to learn. And, uh, you know, I, I just gotta, I gotta make a list, evaluate what's truly important to me. And I guess it's gratitude. Gratitude is, is also very important. I need to focus on, on what's truly important and um, not let my anxieties get the best of me. And uh, think of questions that like my counselor asked me like yesterday, she's like, 
How have I improved this past month? What am I most proud of? And it's such a basic question. Like when we hear something like that, we think it's so easy, but for me, it's like, how have I improved? And I really think about it. How have I improved? And uh, I guess that's good. Like, how have you improved this past week even? It's something we should all be doing. What matters most to us? What is the thing in our life that matters the most to us? And how are we working towards that becoming better? Because we should never stay stagnant and just sit in one spot. It's all about growing. And uh, I just love this one. And I hope, uh, I hope it makes some sense to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. It's beautiful out. And uh, take care. God bless, guys.